Hi everyone, it's Miss Amy. Today we are going to make Spider-Man. So what you're going to need is glue. Either this glue or the glue stick is fine. I like using this glue because it works on hand strengthening. Um, we're going to need scissors, safety scissors of course, and paper. You, if you have construction paper, great. If you just have white paper, we could work on coloring also. And crayons or colored pencils, something to color with. So the first step is we're going to take our pencil and trace our hand on the paper just like this. Okay, so students should be able to do that. If not, you can modify the task and just, you know, have them hold their hand down um, and you trace it or they could trace it. They could trace your hand if that's easier. And take our scissors and now to cut out the hand. To make that a little easier, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the thumb and then just a mitt, like a mitten shape. And the child is going to just cut out the mitten to make it a little easier, and then you could cut out each finger. If they're not up to cutting yet, uh, I recommend you cut out the whole thing. So we're going to use a th make sure they're using their thumb in the little hole, and their shoulder is in when cutting. Make sure their thumb is up. If they're cutting like this, we want to just correct them. So make sure their thumb is up, and they're going to cut out the whole thing. You could remind them to use their helper hand to guide them. Okay, so this would be the mitt, and then you would have to cut out each individual finger. Just like that. Good. The next part, we are going to color the whole hand red. If you have red paper, that's great. You can skip that step. Hear my dog barking. <laughs> okay. So I like actually cutting it out first and then coloring because it really does work on bilateral coordination skills using both of uh, your hands together so that one hand has to stabilize the paper while the other one colors. So if, if only one hand works, it slides. The other one has to hold the paper down. Okay. So the next step is we're going to need some eyes. So we're going to take our piece of paper that we cut out the hand from, and we're going to make two half circles. Just like that. You could also make them all along the side if that's easier. That's what I'm going to do just to make it easier so I have less cutting to do. Again, thumb up, thumb in little hole, shoulder in when cutting. Our students need to use both hands as well. When cutting. Okay. So now we are going to glue the eyes on just like that. I, I think doing it on a diagonal makes it look more like a Spider-Man mask. So I'm going to take my glue and you could cue your child to rotate. Use your fingers to rotate the top. Loosen it all the way. And then if your child needs a visual cue, you could make couple little dots on here to show them where to put the glue if they tend to use too much. 
They could use both hands to squeeze. Okay. Just a little bit they need. Tap, tap, tap. Again. Tap, tap, tap. Okay. So the next part is we're going to need a black marker or dark crayon. I'm going to use a black marker to make the web. So we could start with the top. We're going to need maybe three lines down and you're just going to make kind of spider web like lines. I made curves and lines down. Same thing with the fingers. Making small little curves is fine. And then you can make lines going up. Just like web type lines. We're done. Do the thumb. And there is your Spider-Man. Have a good day, everyone.